To many of our viewers, your country has had a rough go over the last 30 odd years and has frequently been in the newspapers and not always in a good way. Following the election of President Martelly in 2011, there's been a difference. Haiti still faces big challenges in earthquake reconstruction and in governance, but it is no longer making headlines. Why is this? Well, Haiti has been progressively doing better over the past year. Good decisions, uh, hard work, leadership from the president on down to the ministers, and also the will to serve the country and to make the correct decisions in moving the country forward. Now you've said that building durable public institutions is one of your priorities. Uh, what are you and President Martelly doing to prioritize uh, that and to improve governance? One is, is threatening the, the rule of law. I think that uh, we've taken se several steps into uh, improving the rule of law, improving also the institutions that govern uh, the investment policies of the government is it was a very important sector we we improve we increasing the budget of the investment uh, uh, office and we also putting together policies to reduce the number of days to open a company so viewers that want to open a company in haiti normally today they would have to wait 108 days to get a company open in september they will have to wait 10 days so this will improve haiti's ranking in the doing business sector of the world bank and put us in a situation to be more competitive on the world market. Now, what's happening in September to reduce that time to open a business? It's going to be done online. So the processes that normally are manual and you have to go from office to office, from government office to government office, well, we do the work for you and we, we uh, package it into one and put it online. You've said that the education system needs reform. What specific steps is your government taking to improve the prospects for Haiti students. We've introduced legislation in the parliament to create the National Education Fund, a fund that will enable Haiti to have the, the resources to develop the education sector. We've introduced taxes on alcohol, vice taxes, alcohol, cigarettes, uh, international phone calls, money transfer, so that we have the, the necessary resources to not only waive tuitions on Haiti's poor children, and there is many of them. There is over 2.5 million children going to school where the parents don't have the means to, on one side. On the other side, building new schools, and on, and on the third side, training teachers in order to provide a better quality education. After the earthquake, energy and infrastructure became very important points. What is being done to improve energy prospects uh, for generation of electricity in Haiti these days? reviewing the energy policy. We are coming up with a national uh, electricity plan that will follow in order to meet the 500 megawatts demand of energy on one side. On the other side, uh, coming up with a, private, uh, with a public private partnership for the management of Haitian's uh, electrical company. And on the third side, investing into the distribution and on the meterage of, uh, of the electricity sales. Final question, Mr. Prime Minister, I understand that elections are scheduled for Senate uh, uh, in Haiti's parliament this year. Will there be elections and, and what steps are needed to ensure that uh, they take place? Most of the steps are already in place for the elections. We have uh, agreed on the financing schedule with the international partners. Haiti's, uh, Haiti has committed also to, uh, to giving its share for the election. Right now we're missing um, um, three members of the electoral body in order to move forward. And we have, we're working with, with the parliament to have those names uh, as soon as possible so we can get on with the business of organizing the election. How long have you been on the job? Uh, two months.